All right, so while there's a break in the calamity that the city produces routinely every day, I don't need to say this anymore. Come hear it for yourself. I, I can't believe I wasted all those uh, months. I can't believe I wasted all those months um, when I used to try to walk on the streets with the people who live here. Uh, the brutality I experienced from their treatment. Um, now, it was clear I was way too traumatized by the time I got home to keep engaging in that and going through that just to go to the store. Um, nonetheless, while there's a break in the calamity out there, um, and I can't believe I used to try to say it. Oh my gosh. Uh, this is by, by year like two and a half after the persecution of the U.S. government. I was still trying to reason with the U.S. population. And they had shown me so clearly they don't care. They won't even hire you for a dishwasher. They mock you when you sit on benches and from California to D.C. They know who you are. It's facial recognition and all of the above. They see you from fucking half a block away, look up and register who the fuck you are, and then start protesting you in public. Each one an individual fucking God. They really do believe they have the right to do whatever they want in the US to anyone they want. Do you understand? I can hardly speak anymore. It's not a surprise I ended up in this situation. My uh, mouth, words, uh, no words, you know? It's not a surprise. But I used to, when I could speak still, try to say, oh my God, you walk anywhere here. I would walk fucking miles. Just, I guess you can't look on my account because the US government has shut down so many of my accounts permanently. Um, I would walk up to like six miles, miles, miles. I like to walk. And the whole time, every time, every time, all you hear is sirens the whole time. I'm not going to explain walking. I'm not going to explain distance. I'm not going to explain time on the clock. I'm not going to explain this to fucking lunatics. The whole time you would hear nothing but screaming sirens. I knew I was somewhere really bad. I knew I hadn't ever been anywhere like this. I didn't quite understand what was going on. At that point when I first got here, it wasn't uh, metastasized. And the, there wasn't a precincts filled with Irish mob and African gang affiliates. I can't explain all this if you're keeping uh, track of what happened in the US. I just can't do this anymore because I'm trapped in their fucking police militia terror cell and it's really violent and really terrifying here. And there's no help except for the military and I can't talk about them. Look, it's not fair for me and no, I'm not going to completely comply with this all the time, but I have to, especially with the floors. I do not have a choice with the shit I'm witnessing. And I can't even talk about the floors. I can't even say that word right now. Is that fucking serious? All right. I said when I came online, cause I was in New York, all right. I was in Staten fucking Island in the Albanian mob ridden apartment building. I knew a thing or two. I knew a thing or two. This was gonna lead to nuclear war. All right. I suppose and I strongly believe that's one reason why I can't talk about these floors because the gravity of the consequences that follow protecting a terrorist cell six blocks down the street with the military equipment that I'm not quite keen on what is exactly here. The devastation and catastrophic events that follow. I'll be glad I don't fucking uh, talk about the floors. It's like when I went to Georgetown to care for my son cat, baby kitty. He told me, choose your words wisely, the shit, the gravity, the gravity, man. Even though it was a year ago, you know, in, in the eyes of angel, in the eyes of God, that year, I'll just be glad because this is going to be bad. They can't have all these uh, NYPD and feds and the New York State, uh, all this patrols. I can't find words. I, I went to college for this. I just can't speak anymore. They can't have them all sitting there in the state. They can't have the bases all uh, sectioned off in the U.S. Okay, they're not going to get to uh, take the country, okay? The ones that think that don't do crystal meth know that. 
All right, so it's going to be catastrophic fucking whatever the word. Okay, and I know that by what I'm witnessing here, the the effort, the effort, uh, big effort they put in to protecting fucking lunatics is going to end so badly. So badly. All right, so I don't know where I go from here. I don't know what my life will ever be like in the United States, okay? I tried to go to England. They fucking, the, the cops there tried to kill me there. I never told that story, but it doesn't matter anymore in the eyes of God. It just doesn't matter. I remember that, what I saw in the prison, not prison, the jail there. They wanted me out of that jail by the, I can't even explain when, because of what I had witnessed. I witnessed a murder by the cops there. I, I, I But I don't talk about this because I'm still all the fuck by myself. And you know what? It's probably better because these places get really fucked up. England and Germany get fucking devastated. And I said this before when I was in New York. There's German cops. There's really good German cops. So it's like San Francisco, the SFPD, the good military has got their back. I don't have to try to do that. I'm not qualified. This would take someone with fucking 20 years, 15 years of this type of a, I can't even find word. I, I'm so heartbroken that I speak like this now. I pray to God it's not permanent. Okay, I'm still in the terrace cell. That's what am I supposed to say? I can't talk about it. And I understand why. It's still going hard here. Outside too. But the calamity right now is okay. I don't have to... Uh, can't find word. Anyway, so um, I'm still reading things on the U.S. press. The U.S. press, everybody goes down so fucking hard, dude. Half of them get fucking catastrophically blown up by WMDs. By their own heroes, their own wicked neo-Nazi leaders. It's textbook. There'll never be an overthrow of the U.S. sovereign territory, okay? No. No. And I can't tell you why they so uh, desperately protect this terrorist cell, except for the equipment that I am almost convinced is here. I hear it. But they can't even talk about anything I hear or anything that has to do with the you know what. So there's got to be something going on down there. It, I can't even say one fucking thing I've witnessed. It's so serious. And here comes semi trucks. Here comes Mack trucks. Here comes tractor trailers. Here comes really loud muffler cars. Here comes motorcycle gangs. Here comes endless screaming, nonstop EMS. So I'm going to hang up this video. Bye.